Ape. Let Whoa. me hear you with the Crom hype. <laughs> All right. All right. We're moving on to Stadium 2. All right, here we go. Round one. Let's see how this goes down. Ooh, immediately going with the fair. Got a big combo starting off 53%. Yo, that's, off why, that's why we see Mr. R picking a crumb uh, against these spaces. Going for that side B1 into up air. Ooh, you can get, trying to go for the tech chase. Yeah. Man, he really aggressive on the, on the round start, actually. I thought he was going to play a little bit of noosh, but not quite. I feel like you can't really do that against Fox because Fox is able to really overwhelm the sword characters, especially right. like Tom and Roy. You get one dash attack, that's dash attack air until 50, easily. Very nice. The first time the tech chase happened, he w decided to go for the tech chase out. Now that he knew that he was going to tech chase in, then uh, he decided to go for uh, the, the inward option instead. Covered but can we talk about Mr. R's movement? Look at how sick this guy threw. He's so smooth when it comes to using the side beat and just using a wave bounce to uh, change the direction in which he's uh, he's moving. Yeah, I mean, that was a signature uh, stable of his chic play style, using B reverses and turnaround Bs, et cetera, et cetera, to really trip up movement while especially landing in the air. So Krom has that, Snake has that, Inkling not so much, uh, Young Link has that. So you can definitely can see the consistency in all the characters of what he wants. I mean, even right there, he tried to use the wave bounce to mix up and try and have the side B connect, but Rogue Light, very smart, knowing that uh, Krom was going to be coming down, so he just landed up smash. But wow, a big F tilt coming out from Mr. R. Yeah. The F tilt from Krom is so good. Yeah, very strong move. Compared to Royce, where it's kind of hard to actually land a sweet spot unless you're looking for a tech chase situation. Sometimes you can just space well, well with Krom, and you can get it very easily. Yeah, tip or F tilt with Krom is actually ridiculous. I believe it even hits below the ledge. Damn. All right, we got the throw combo. Falling up air into back air, that's such a great tool for Mr. R and Krom to be able to use to get a little bit of extra damage here. Okay, sitting on the platform, but an up tilt does in fact catch Mr. R. Getting the trade, and a down tilt. Oh, the F tilt not gonna be able to connect. Yeah, I think he was trying to call it the missed tech, but then didn't realize he would like bounce off the floor. So, unfortunate for Mr. R, but he's actually doing really well so far. Okay, a dash back F tilt, but illusion into up smash is all it takes to even up these stocks. Yep. Okay, 122%. I feel like that's one good forward tilt at the ledge, and then he's dead. Oh, even an up tilt? Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, who needs an F tilt? I got up tilts. Yeah. <laughs> it, covers, it covers both sides. <laughs> All right, first game going to Mr. R. Pretty convincing, if I do say so myself. And Rogue Light has left the stage. Where is he going? I don't think we have coaching, but I don't know what he's... Okay, he's talking to Mars about... Is he changing his controller? I think he's changing his... He is changing his controller. Oh, okay. Controller, oh. Jones? Interesting. Huh. All righty. Okay. <laughs> That's a first for today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, like, he, like, went straight to Mars. Dude, and he, I was he like, left Whoa. that stage <laughs> so quick. Yeah, he, like, dipped frame one. I was like, damn, does he not want to play anymore? <laughs> and he, like, went to light. Is like, okay. <laughs> I thought he was, uh, like, calling for a TO and, like, Instead of waiting for the TO to get to him, like just approaching the TO yeah. and asking you know, like the TO a question. But instead, no, he's switching out his controller. Whatever that uh, black controller was using is apparently not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> he picked Pichu like twice, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Does he know something I don't? Wait, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Game two. Going to the same stage. Let's see if Fox, or excuse me, Light, with his new controller, can be much better. That's right. Let's see if the controller was in fact holding Light back, throwing out a couple well-spaced up airs against Light. Yeah, and he's like, so you see again there, the first head of uh, Double Edge Dance, using that in the air to trip up his movement and keep Light on his toes on the side of catch the landing. Um, speaking of catching landings, Mr. R has not been able to land for quite a bit as uh, Mr. Light just continues to juggle him in the air, even getting a shoulder check. Whoa, that was really weird. There was like no hit stun on that. And he got sent at a really bad angle after, so he's not gonna be able to make it back to the stage. Really bad angle, no jump to help him recover. That's gonna be a very quick stock for Light. Okay, doesn't quite reach the get up attack. Okay, I don't know what this controller has or what connection this controller has with Light. But he's, this is like a completely different Light that we're seeing. He's playing much more patient. He's spacing his moves out well. He's getting his dad stances, which is in fact, you know, just applying the correct pressure to Mr. R. Yeah. 
At least he's getting that extra damage too by trading with the ether as it comes down. So that's some valuable percent. Oh, the tech chase, not quite. He tried to get like a dash back, read the reaction, forward smash, but not quite. Yeah, and the falling there does connect from for light, but it's not enough to take the stock. Both players in very high percents, but miss. There are already on his second percent. Oh, takes that trade. He's gonna take that trade all the way to the bank. Man, that's the third time in a row, dude. This new controller, man, it's, it's, it's really popping for him. All right, now the real text is gonna be if Mr. R loses this game, if he runs off stage and gets another controller. <laughs> All right, let's see what else he can get. Okay, look at this aggression coming out from Light. Yeah. Continuing to stay in Mr. R's face, not really giving him an opportunity to push many buttons. He still right on there. the chase. Yeah, still on the chase, brain trapping that air dodge. You know, air dodge is supposed to make us safe, Sedge. What's going on here? Ooh. Oh, double parry? Ah. Uh, I appreciate the attempt on the up smash. I would have preferred up tilt because that's guaranteed with the frame three, but not quite. Oh, no tech chase either. And speaking of double, we saw a double up smash right there. Full hop nair, but it's going to get beaten out by a forward air. All right, falling up our top air. Another up smash? No. I, th I feel like he got the kill with one, so now he's like, oh, let me do it again. And then he kind of just like forgot the timing of it. So, all right, there we go. This is Art trying to bring it back. That's right, bringing it back and bringing it back to one piece, uh, one stock a piece. Okay, very good patience coming down from Mr. R. Oh yeah, and you saw Mr. R, one good conversion is all he needed to try and get the control. I really appreciate that. He could have done a total rob play right there. By that I mean robbing the, the game from him, but not quite. So Ro Light is gonna take it. First. Yeah, I definitely respect the attempt. Yeah. But Mr. R, in fact, not running off stage to uh, yeah. procure that, another controller. That was about to be a 300 IQ play if he got that forward smash. I would've been like, damn, you really brought it, brought it all the way back by doing that. If that F smash landed, that would've shown that Mr. R had all the momentum and that Light was really in a disadvantaged state where he looks kind of helpless. Right. But going into game three, you know, sticking it out with Chrome, even though we've seen uh, up smash land on the Aether quite a bit, uh, it doesn't look like that's really impacted Mr. R's decision. No dump? Okay, he's going to make it back this time. Let's see if he can repeat the scenario, though. Man, he really wants that neutral B to edge guard there. If that neutral B lands, it's going to send Mr. Uh, Light at a very difficult angle for him to recover. Uh -huh. So I can see why he's attempting it so often. All right, Light trying to jump in. Just gonna get beat up out in there. The block swing works with that frame three up tilt, but not quite gonna be able to find anything else. And we're starting to see a little bit more parries coming out from Mr. R. Mm -hmm. He really needs to utilize that, but a jab forward air don't even need the back air conversion. Yeah. I was like, oh, the forward air not gonna kill. But then it killed anyway. I was like, oh, wow, Krom is uh, very good. Yeah, Krom is, in fact, very good. I like how he faded back this time, so to make sure that he didn't get hit by up smash for the fourth time in a row. Almost Ooh. happened again. Well, he was, in fact, able to get off stage, but uh, Light committed to that up smash. Works out in his favor. All right, still on the chase. Not finding the up airs. Okay, there we go. Gets a jab. Okay, parrying the first hit, but not the second hit. Getting a grab forward throw. What is the chase? Ooh, okay, a little bit of double edge dance. All right, dash attack comes in. Still on the chase. One more time, takes it back down. We're Ooh. starting to see Mr. R use a lot of aggressive options coming from the ledge. We've seen a few nares uh, come out, but that F tilt to cover the roll from the ledge. That F tilt is so good, dude. It just killed straight up. Taking on the damage. Just a jab at the end. Not quite able to find anything else. Okay, getting a grab at the ledge and the shoulder text can put a little bit of extra damage. Another up smash is going to connect. Going to take that trade, evening up the stocks here in game three. Yep. Now, this game three is so important because we're, it's going to essentially say who's going to get the final pick in game five if it goes to a game five. Yeah. How does Light try and take the next exchange? Obviously. Okay, just runs in, dash attack. Not enough hits on though. And unfortunately, the rage working against Light because it popped up uh, Mr. R just a little bit too far. So it allowed him to 
uh, stick in an up air. It really broke the combo. But now sending uh, Mr. R off stage. Oh, but not getting a ledge trap. Okay, okay, okay. Not quite enough. I thought for sure that was going to be it, actually, now that I saw it. But I guess he was just a pixel off. So now all of a sudden, uh, Light has a lot to work with. That's right, both players essentially at kill percent. Okay. That's very smart for Mr. R. He's really trying to make sure that he doesn't have to use his upbeat because he's seen how often uh, Light has, in fact, been able to take the trade and just win. But he's dead. I, he is, in fact, dead. And the game three goes to Light. All right, Mr. R. Looking real good so far. Had a little bit of shaky start, but uh, Light really, uh, really showing what's what. Man, Light shaking his head because he knows how hard he has to work. And this is like, this is still top 32. This isn't even top eight yet. This is a top eight level match. It is. I think this was in top eight of Nimbus when that happened. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Well, just proving my point about the, cal the caliber of these two players and when, in fact, they should, in fact, be meeting. But still, both these players have to work so hard to make it back to the next to the next uh, set of bracket. Yep, alrighty. There's a falling up air to back air. Another falling up air. Unfortunate that he didn't get the actual launching into ether. He's gonna get punished big for that. Oh, that's so smooth. Actually landing the side B and then uh, converting to an up B or into an up air. Right. Now, one thing we haven't exactly seen from Mr. R, and I think it's because if he does in fact whip he's gonna get punished hard, is uh, the up B out of shield. We haven't been seeing it. And I think that's an actual option that he coined. What's he gonna do? Ah! Dash okay, dance. Wow. That's what he's yeah. gonna do. He's really respecting Light's decision making at the ledge. But there we go. He gave him the space that Light wanted and he thought he could get comfortable. And so Mr. R decided to go in with the port to end it all. That's right. Very good bait coming from Mr. R. Now, what is, how is he going to try and get a little bit of extra percent and extend his lead very, this much more? Punishing with an up air into up B. Uh, up B, if it does in fact connect, does a good, significant amount of damage. But up smash going to connect for Rogue Light. Yeah. All right, there we go. Gets a grab. Tech chase into the forward smash. He finally got it. That was so scary. I was thinking, okay, he's definitely going to get it. And he did. Yeah, good stuff to Mr. R. I mean, that's going to extend his lead just uh, exponentially. Yep. And there's the up B out of shield, finally making good use of it. Okay, jab, or Nair 1 into jab. Not able to convert much off it. But still, if uh, he's able to land a couple more of those, it's going to be bad news for Light. Right. But Light Ooh. landing the, oh, not able to land Illusion, but lands an air into an up smash. Not enough to take stock. Yeah, that almost did it too. Oh my god. Wow, that parry. The timing on that to block the up smash. That was crazy. Alrighty. I like this. Light is, even though he is down in percent, he is in no rush to approach Mr. R. <laughs> Gotta wait and see. Yeah, we got about six minutes left on the clock. This is a pretty fast set, all things considered. Not quite gonna kill like Roy's. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, directional air dodge and the neutral B isn't gonna be able to connect. The Ooh, patience. What? Okay. All right. The back air. That does it. I'm surprised that Light actually went for jabs after rolls because typically, well, you know, we'll try and see some type of cross up or he'll dash back and try and bait out Mr. R to pick an option and then just with punish. But instead, he did roll option into jab. Mm -hmm. That's perfect positioning for Mr. R. Yeah. Alrighty, we're going to a game five scenario here. I think the uh, second one, actually. Coleman Mars went to game five too, I think, so. Alrighty. Yes, and you know what? I am happy to see many more game fives, especially with players of this caliber. Sticking it out for all five games. We have Mr. R on from Rogue Light on Fox. Oh, yeah. I mean, Mr. R has been starting off each match with a very aggressive runoff bear. At that time, he just ran up, parried, and then got a punish off of it. That was really good for Light. Keeping track of how he's been starting the matches every time. Okay, both players getting a trade. And we up see smash. another up smash. Ooh. It does, in fact, connect. 
But Miss, uh, Mr. R is still able to make it back to stage. Yeah. I know it's like one of those things where he's got to do it, but man, it's just so interesting to see Light just get that every single time, the consistency that he gets on those uh, ether punishes. I mean, if you think about the trade, he's really only taking like a few percent for the amount of percent that Usnash does. Uh-huh. So it's going in his favor, even if they are in fact trading. All right, what's he do here? <laughs> that was really weird, did you see that? He yeah, Sora just scooped him up and just uh, kind of bounced him off the ground a little bit. Yeah, he looked like a basketball for a second. <laughs> All right, run up grab. Yeah, he's dropping low again. And I think that Mr. R is recognizing that Light isn't going for these up smashes when he recovers low. Uh -huh. If he spaces the sword exactly like uh, along with the ledge, then he's able to make it back to say uh, to stay pretty safely. Yeah. Man, Mr. R is so consistent on getting those tech chase reactions. That time dash forward, elicit the reaction back, and then just dash back uh, board smash. Prom special. But there we go. Gets a back air. Finally going to be able to take that stock. That's right. Can't count out Light. See, he's the best Fox for a reason. Back throw? <laughs> I thought maybe he would have pressed the button and he would have like done a, another forward smash or something. That would have been disgusting. But that would in fact have been very disgusting. But a rapid jab coming out from Light. Now we see both of our players, Mr. R throwing out a lot of down tilts because he's expecting uh, Light to, to run in with a dash attack. Yep. Okay, there we go. Gets that Nair. Wow, he's uh, still going in on the aggression. There's the jab. What did he follow up with? Not able to find anything there. Yeah, he was trying to go for the side B, but uh, Light was able to stuff out that option before uh, the hitbox came out. Okay, good parry, Ooh. but that's a multi-hit, so you gotta yeah. do multiple parries. Thought he was gonna, I think he was thinking he was gonna land with Dare, or excuse me, Nair instead, but Dare came out. Good Tomahawk, and that's gonna put Mr. R off the stage. Not able to land an up smash to punish the recovery. Ooh, just call out the short hop. That was very nice. Okay, gets the grab and forward throw. There's option going to be. F tilt at the ledge, not going to be able to work. You can tell they're kind of nervous when they're playing too. They're both trying to do like a rollback to try and position themselves correctly and face the right way. But they're doing that to each other, so it just causes <laughs> a more of a bigger scramble situation. That's right. Just putting more spaces in between them both. Try and catch it up, Mr. R. I, I feel like he's just trying to find it, but he can't. And oh, he did caught Mr. R's second jump. So he is, that's gonna, in fact going to be combo food for Light. And as you can see, able to rack up 78%. That's going to be a significant amount of damage. I Does he have dead. a second jump? I think he's dead. Oh, oh never mind. I thought he was going to do like down smash or something instead. Well, he tried. He bet it all. But that down smash, there's the down smash you were looking for. And Light able to two stock Mr. R in game five. Maybe you heard me. <laughs> he was like down smash. And then Light was like, oh, that's a good idea. Boom. Hey, coaching? Coaching? <laughs>